equity share capital, reserve, profit and loss account, plus debenture is 12 lakh. Profit is given 3 lakh 86,000. Asset ratio, asset, asset divided by equity. So here I have to take all the asset except stock. You have to take all the liability except bank overdraft. Debt to equity ratio, long term debt, debt divided by equity. Hello, my dear students. I am Dr. B.S. Brahmanya, called by name Dr. B.S.S., Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Aid College at Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. I am going to hand Management Accounting, 6th semester, Unit 3, Session 2, in favor of Ratio Analysis. In the last session, I already told how much imparted the ratios here. We have to compare so many ratios here. Gross profit ratio, gross profit divided by sales into 100, net profit ratio, net profit divided by sales into 100, current ratio, current asset divided by current liability, liquid ratio, liquid asset divided by liquid liability, debt ratio, debt re long term debt divided by equity share capital, proprietary ratio, return on capital employee ratio. So all these things you have to compile so that the we can understand where we can stand. What is the current asset of today? What is the current liability? What is the liquid asset of today? What is the liquid liability? What is the fixed asset turnover? Sales divided by fixed asset. What is the turnover? So everything we can learn in the ratio analysis by comparing one to another. We move on here. This is the balance sheet here they have given. Freehold premises is a building, is a fixed asset. Plant and machinery is a fixed asset. Furniture is a fixed asset. Stock, current asset. Debt are current asset. Marketable security, current asset. BR, current asset. Cash, current asset. Advances, current asset. Preliminary expense should not be taken. Okay. Then, Current liabilities are here bank overdraft, trade are bills payable and taxation provision. So what are the ratio they ask? We see that you are required to compute current ratio, asset test ratio, debt to equity ratio, proprietary ratio, fixed asset turnover ratio, return on capital employed. In one. Total said during the year is 21,60,000. Net profit after taxation period. You are required. What is current ratio? I told you. Current asset divided by current liability. What are the current assets? Are stock 2,30,000. Stock 2,30,000. Plus debt are 1,95,000. Plus Marketable security 50,000 plus BR 45,000 cash plus 20,000 plus advances 36,000 5 lakh 70,000. Then current liability 2 lakh 40,000. Current liabilities bank overdraft. Sentry creditor BP here current liabilities are 40,000 plus 1,15,000 plus 35,000 plus 50,000. It comes to 2,40,000. So they are in the ratio 2 is to 4 is to 1. Liquid asset. You have to take all the asset except. 5,70,000. What is the stock value? See that. What is your stock value? 2,30,000. So liquid asset is equal to 5,70,000 minus stock. Uh, what is your stock value? 2,30,000. Deduct. This is 3,40,000 plus minus preliminary expenses 15,000. Your total current asset 3,40,000. Liquid asset then 15,000 
advances 45000 liquid asset preliminary expenses 15000 liquid assets minus 30000 3 lakh 10,000. So liquid is a 3 lakh 10,000 divided by liquid liability is 2 lakh 1.55 is to 1. Come back to debt debt equity ratio. Long term loan divided by proprietary fund. What's the long term loan here? Debenture 2 lakh 40,000. It's a long term loan. Proprietary fund 9 lakh 60,000. Proprietary and profit and loss account. This is equity share capital, preferred share capital, reserve fund, profit and loss account. Proprietary fund nine lakh sixty thousand. Then two lakh forty thousand long term loan. Eight lakh nine lakh twenty fifty five minus fifty five fifteen thousand is forty thousand. This is five lakh plus three lakh plus one lakh twenty. Profit and loss account minus preliminary expenses fifteen thousand. It will work out nine lakh. Sixty. This is nine lakh two lakh forty thousand point two five is to one. This is total minus preliminary expense you have to take. Proprietary fund same nine lakh sixty thousand divided by total asset. Leave this fifteen thousand. Leave this it become fourteen lakh forty thousand. Leaving this fourteen lakh forty thousand. That's a total asset nine lakh sixty divided by four lakh. 0.67 is to 1. Fixed asset turnover, sales divided by fixed asset. So 21 lakh 60 thousand divided by 8 lakh 2.5 times. If we based on the fixed asset, it is 2.5 times. Return on capital employed, net profit before tax divided by capital employed is 12 lakh. Here capital employed is uh, 5 plus 8, 12. This is uh, 9 lakh 20, 9 lakh 60. Plus two lakh forty thousand debenture has to taken totally twelve lakh capital employed plus debenture equity share capital reserve profit and loss account plus debenture is twelve lakh profit is given three lakh eighty six thousand so this if you work out in the percentage thirty two point one seven percent here capital employed is long term loan plus proprietary refund plus fixed asset plus working capital. EBA net profit after tax plus tax provision three lakh fifty lakh three lakh eighty six thousand so it works out thirty two point one seven percentage if we take the percentage so we'll go back once again so current ratio is current asset divided by current liability asset ratio or liquid ratio is one and the same liquid asset divided by liquid liability or Asset ratio, asset asset divided by equity. So here I have to take all the asset except stock. You have to take all the liability except bank overdraft. Debt equity ratio, long term debt, debt divided by equity. Property ratio, property ratio means here preferred share capital, equity share capital, profit and loss account plus all belongs to the proprietor. Then. Fixed asset turnover ratio, sales divided by fixed asset, return on capital employed, net profit divided by capital employed. Capital employed is current asset minus current liability. So net profit they have given sales is given, net profit after taxation is given. Current asset divided by current liability, then liquid asset three lakh ten thousand divided by two lakh one point five five is to one. Long term loan divided by proprietary fund, two lakh forty divided by nine lakh sixty. Then proprietary ratio, proprietary fund divided by total asset nine lakh sixty, fourteen lakh forty thousand. Fixed asset divided by fixed asset. How many times? Two point five times. Return on capital employed, net profit before tax divided by twelve lakh is. If we go with the percentage, is thirty two point one seven percentage capital employed. Long term loan plus proprietary fund, fixed asset plus working capital, minus current liability, net profit after tax plus tax provision, three lakh plus fifty thousand plus thirty thousand, three lakh eighty six thousand. This should be added. Three lakh fifty plus thirty six, three lakh eighty six thousand. This is long term loan plus proprietary fund, fixed asset plus working capital minus current liability. This will work out to a lakh. So if you go with the person, if you make, you must learn the formula in correct way, so it's easy to apply.
hope you understand so we'll go with the ratios are such a way that it will help you in comparison of last year with the current year last year with the current year hope you understand we'll meet in next session with cash flow statement till then goodbye meet in the next class